Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel, or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. As always, I'm filming this video in one go, so if I stumble over my words moving forwards, apologies about that, and also if the quality of this video is fairly poor as well, if there's any lag, anything like that at all, sadly it cannot be helped, and hopefully it is not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Eurovision 2023 related video here on my channel, and a video that I have had planned for weeks now. It is the 10 great national final songs of the ESC 2023 season video. As always, you are very welcome to let me know your thoughts on anything I discuss in today's video by leaving a comment, leave a like, share the video if you want, all of that good stuff is much appreciated. And as always, there are links in the description to my other social media pages, check them out if you so wish. So, one of the reasons why this video took so long to be recorded is because I had to go through all of the national final songs from the past couple of months, and that's several hundred tracks. Now, in some instances, there was a song in my mind from a particular country that I knew was probably going to make the short list of ten. But still, I wanted to give each song a reasonable amount of attention. And in some cases, it took ages, because for a country like San Marino, for example, that's a lot of songs, which is why it has taken me so long to sit down and record this video. But... What I was really thinking about was not necessarily my absolute favourite from a national final, but a song that just really stood out to me. Maybe I liked it from the first time I heard it. Maybe it grew on me. Maybe it's a song that I know I'm still going to be listening to this time next year. Because let's be honest, a lot of national final songs, I think we do forget them very quickly indeed. But some, some real gems do stand out from the field. And we do still listen to them. 12 months down the line, or 24 months down the line, absolutely. And that leads me on to a point that I will mention at the end of this video regarding one particular national final song. But anyway, I wanted to pick 10 songs from 10 different countries. The countries in question, ladies and gentlemen, are Norway, Portugal, Ireland, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Iceland, Lithuania, Spain, and Italy. They're the countries. And songs from each of those respective national finals will be mentioned by me in this video. I'm starting to ramble. Let's get going. I filmed a video like this last year and I really enjoyed doing it. So I'm doing it again. And it's nice to shine a light on particular tracks that might have already been forgotten by a lot of people in the Eurovision community. I don't know. Also... I'm really going to try and rattle through this fairly quickly because I know that I will ramble for the ages otherwise, so I'm not necessarily going to be going into too much depth about the lyrical content of a song or indeed necessarily much about the artists themselves. With that being said, let's get going. I'm just going to do it in the order that they are on my whiteboard here in front of me. So Norway is first, MGP. Now, of course, Norway will be represented by Alessandra who will be taking to the stage on Sunday, I believe it is, because that's when the rehearsals begin at the Liverpool Arena. Um, there are several other songs that I considered, which was the case for every country. I will mention a few here. So, for example, Elsie Bay, Love You in a Dream, uh, Sandra Ling, her song I considered, Tyrrell with Break It, and Ulrika with Honestly. But I thought that would have been such an obvious choice because I made a video all about that song, listening to it for the first time. It maybe wouldn't have been that unusual for me to pick that song and talk about it again in this video you're watching now. The song I have gone with, ladies and gentlemen, is a song that did make the final of MGP on February the 4th, and it finished in 6th place, did all right with the juries, the international juries, but not as well with the Norwegian public. Perhaps as expected, it is Not Meant To Be by Eileen Thorpe. Music and lyrics by Andrea Stone Johansson, Eileen Thorpe herself, Elsa Solisvik, who I believe is Elsie Bay, yes, and uh, Jonas Holterberg Jensen. So Eileen Thorpe is roughly the same age as me, she's slightly younger actually, from Hammeroy. And she was, um, I was going to say that she was on The Voice, but she wasn't. She has released an album, though, years ago. So, this song, I just think it's really nice. It feels like quite a mature track. I think that's the best way that I can describe it. Hopefully you can understand what I mean here. It feels very professional. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels quite serious, mature, grown-up. 
it was a job well done. She was on stage at the national final in this pink outfit. And if there is one criticism here about the performance, it's that it wasn't really that visually appealing. If there was something a bit more to it, maybe it would have had a bit more love from the Norwegian public. I don't know. But in terms of the staging and the presentation, it was all fairly bog-standard stuff. Um, the song starts off quite slowly, and then the pre-chorus, that's when the magic really begins. That pre-chorus is really, really fabulous. It builds momentum, the song gets a bit more energy, and as we progress... Eline, I think, became more comfortable on stage as well. I'm not saying that she was nervous or anything to begin with, but she sort of loosened up as the three minutes went on. The song found its groove. She had musicians on stage with her, two drummers for some reason. Really, really lovely song. And just very mature sounding. You know, she sings. I've got the lyrics here in front of me, actually. I've burned a million photographs, erased a thousand messages. I've thrown the clothes out of the window because you didn't want them back, etc, etc, etc. We've had better days, oh you know, sparkling like champagne, or while trying to get home, always by my side, past the point of running wild, but by now you should know that I want out. And then we go into that pre-course again, and it's just really, really good, really catchy, and I think the reason I picked this song over another song I haven't mentioned yet, which is Freya by Maria Selim, I think the reason I picked Not Meant To Be is because it was arguably a better performance and maybe a better song. I don't know. Freya was very, very powerful and the studio version is excellent, but not meant to be. On that stage, the live performance was maybe a little bit tighter. It's just a shame that it didn't get more love from the Norwegian public. Anyway, that is my pick. The first Great national final song of the ESC 2023 season. Not meant to be by Eileen Thorpe. I just love the groove of it, you know. When it really gets going, I'm along for the ride. Fantastic. And maybe a little bit more movement would have been welcome. Maybe something a little bit more visually appealing would have been welcome. It is what it is. Still a really good song and a nice performance. We move on to... Uh, well, what have we got here? After Norway, um, let me go back here. Sorry, I'm going to be clicking backwards and forwards quite a bit. Um, Malta, I considered quite a lot of songs from Malta, mainly Brook with Checkmate and Maxine Patch with Alone, but none of them made the cut. From Serbia, quite a few songs. Uh, Stefan Shai, Nada, Hurricane, Philip Balosh. Prince and Zena, along with a few others, they were all considered. Uh, Latvia, I considered Fake Love. That's the name of the song that I considered there. I also considered Like I Wanna, which didn't even make the final. Inspo with Sway, very good. That very did, very did, that very nearly did make the cut for this video you're watching now. And also Tom's Kaldorowskis with When It All Falls and Louisa with You To Hold Me. But we move on to Portugal. Is it Portugal next? Well, yes, it is. Portugal, ladies and gentlemen. Festival de Cranchão, which took place on March the 11th. The final did anyway. And I've gone with a song here that actually finished last. Which I think is really quite surprising because prior to the FDC shows beginning. This was getting a fair amount of buzz. A lot of videos that I saw, uh, people were ranking this song fairly highly. I think in my video on my channel, where I listened to snippets of the FDC songs for this year for the first time, this one was standing out to me. And very recently I revisited it, and I thought it was a really good piece of music. It is Fim do Mundo by Inés Apenas. And uh, yes, this finished last. What a great shame. Music and lyrics by Inez Apenas. This was an open call winner. Uh, she went through from semi-final to in third place. And then in the final, uh, received two points from the juries and one point from the public. Finishing 13th out of 13 songs altogether. So, what I like about this song is its interesting blend of... The modern and the old, if you see what I mean. The song begins, the performance begins, there's this spotlight on her, and then she gets up and moves to the piano. 
And like with the song that I just mentioned, Not Meant to Be from Norway, this song really finds its momentum sort of in the pre-chorus and indeed the chorus itself. And we have this sort of tinkling piano melody, but as the song progresses we can hear those strings a little bit more, and it feels classical in a way, but also very modern, with some synth-like sounds in the background as well. Uh, she was in a wide outfit, and also she had a couple of dancers, one of whom looked a bit like Hunter Schaefer from Euphoria. Uh, but she had dancers on stage with her at one point. Not really sure the staging was brilliant, but the song builds up nice vocals. Maybe could have been a little bit stronger, but I'm not a professional musician. On the whole, this was really, really nice. And something very different, very relaxing to listen to, very soothing. And like I said a moment ago, a very interesting compod, if you will, of modern and almost old school, not dated, but sort of classical tones, if you see what I mean. A really nice fusion of the two. And I think that's why this song stood out to me the first time I heard it. And indeed why it stood out to me again when I heard it recently. Because I was just really relaxing and vibing out with this one, to be completely honest with you. A really lovely song, so... Inez Apenas, Fim do Mundo, is the second great national final song of the 2023 season. Let's move on to Ireland. Yes, now I think it's pretty damn obvious which song I'm going to go with here. It wasn't the best lineup, although I think maybe a slight improvement on national finals we've had from Ireland over the past few years. The song I've gone with here is the song that I think Ireland should have sent. It's as simple as that. I think they absolutely should have picked this song. It is Connolly with Midnight Summer Night, which won the international jury vote and was the runner-up with the national jury and the public, finishing second with 32 points, just two points behind Wild Youth. Now, I've got no beef with Wild Youth. I don't really have too much of a problem with the song We Are One, but Jesus wept. It is so generic, ladies and gentlemen. It is so utterly plain. It's fine, but plain. It is like the most boring sponge cake you've ever tasted. This song, on the other hand, Midnight Summer Night by Connolly, this feels more authentic. It feels more Irish. It's got that sort of very gentle, gentle, wistful, nostalgic thing about it. And we hear this a lot in classic, great Irish music. You know, we hear it a bit in U2's music, I suppose. Certainly the music of the Cranberries and things like that. That sort of very old-school, nostalgic, soothing vibe. Absolutely. My God, I'm starting to ramble. So Connolly, I think about 17 or 18 years old, wrote this herself. Very impressive. If there is one criticism about this track that I have, it's that it's a little bit on the repetitive side. But I just thought this was so lovely. The first time I heard it, it was a demo version. Maybe a little bit shaky, but then again, what do you expect from a demo? And then we heard the actual studio cut, which sounded very nice. And I thought, oh man, this has got to be really good live. And during the Late Late Show show on February the 3rd, it was pretty good live, and she was, you know, moving about a little bit on the spot, looking pretty comfortable, didn't really seem to have many nerves, really nice tone to her voice, and I just love how old school this feels. You know, very 90s, but not a bad thing whatsoever. To me, this felt like pure Irish quality, to be completely honest with you, whereas Wild Youth felt like a really safe, plain we've heard in all before track they should have sent midnight summer night it's as simple as that that is ladies and gentlemen the third great national final song of the season and it's from ireland of all places oh man i hope that Connolly comes back and tries again maybe ireland should pick her internally i don't know we often get from many countries one and dones by which i mean an artist who takes part once and then we never see or hear from them again, which is a real shame, because they've got potential, perhaps, with the first song that they enter with. Anyway, hopefully Connolly comes back at some point. Oh, yeah. Midnight, summer night, I don't know if... Oh, yeah, it's just lovely. Very simple, like a cool breeze on a warm day. You can just go along for the ride with this one. Certainly, I imagine a lot of other people found it quite nostalgic, too. Lovely, lovely stuff. So three down, several more to go. Let me know your thoughts on these tracks as well. Did you love them too when you first heard them? Next up is a song that I'm actually going to leave 
for a little while. Let's move on to Finland. Well, I've spoken about Finland plenty on this channel over the past couple of weeks. And my god, UMK, the quality was there, and we just basked in it. Absolute top-notch stuff uh, from Finland this year. Of course, Cha 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 is going to Liverpool and probably going to win. Who knows? In terms of the other songs, Hoi Damut, very good. No Business on the Dance Floor, great stuff. Illy Voy Meinem by Kuma, I very nearly picked for this video. That's a real grower. I liked it, but then several weeks after UMK finished, and UMK was on February the 25th, so probably by the end of March, I was really enjoying Illy Voy Meinem. What a great song that is, great lyrics. Uh, Samatai Vasta Katsotan by Portion Boys was the runner-up. Very tongue-in-cheek, but still quite enjoyable. And then Girls Like You by Robin felt a little bit on the weak side, to be completely honest with you. But the song I've gone with, ladies and gentlemen, is the other one. Something to Lose by Alexandra. Music and lyrics here by Alexandra Letty, Amy Cooney, Belinda Huang, and Mina Coivisto. So Alexandra, uh, who is Alexandra Letty, born in March 1996. Uh, doesn't really say too much about her, but she is a Swedish-speaking Finn, and she's released two albums to date. This is just an utterly gorgeous, tender song, ladies and gentlemen. Blonde hair, simple outfit, on that stage at UMK, long pieces of fabric draping down from the ceiling, almost like curtains. She's moving through them all and everything. Slow movements. You could almost hear a pin drop in the arena. And then as the song progresses, we see some dancers, and then those drapes, or whatever you want to call them, they disappear, and then the stage is basked in this orange glow, and it builds up, but it's not overpowering by any stretch of the imagination. It's like a candle burning down ever so slowly, if you see what I mean. Such a lovely, beautiful, tender ballad. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Lyrically, absolutely splendid as well. I don't have the lyrics in front of me, but it's not often that I actually feel a little bit emotional listening to a piece of music. But this song, when I listened to it again very recently, you know, I did feel a little bit emotional. Absolutely. It's such a beautiful track. And it's such a shame that more people weren't on board with it. Uh, she finished sixth out of seven songs, 46 points from the international juries, and 24 points from the public which meant that she was the Finnish public's least favourite of the show. Ten points, though, from Germany, Spain and Australia in the international jury voting. Just lovely. Just lovely. And it's great that we had a song like this as well, because you've got the very expressive track from Karia. Then you've got the sort of silly tongue-in-cheek number from Portion Boys. Then you've got something a bit indie from Kuma. Then you've got the rising pop-bop from Keira. You've got the big star, Robin. You've got another sort of indie synth-pop number from Benjamin. And then you've got this super strict back ballad. And this really stood out because of its simplicity. I really don't have anything else to say about it. I just thought it was an absolutely gorgeous tune. And it would be great if we had more songs like this at Eurovision. Absolutely. When I was watching the performance back on YouTube very recently, I was thinking, my God, I'd love to have a song like this at Eurovision. Absolutely, more songs like this that just feel so intimate, so beautiful, so relaxing, so meaningful, so personal. You know, if I have something to lose, etc, etc. Just wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm repeating myself here, but I just thought it was absolutely splendid. Uh, as for... well, who's next? Oh, well, I haven't mentioned Croatia. Uh, I considered quite a few songs from Dora, mainly Nevera Lele, but none of them made the cut. Uh, Moldova, I didn't really consider much from Moldova at all. Sweden will leave for now. Uh, Czechia, I considered Pam Rabbit, but not much else. Introvert Party Club, that's not a bad song either. And the Netherlands, well, they went internal, of course. Moving into semi-final two, uh, Denmark, no song, but I considered I was going to marry him. And indeed the runner-up, Freedom, which is an absolute ripper of a song. Um, is it called Freedom? I think it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Nicholas Sonner. Yes, it's called Freedom, and he wrote it himself. Very good. Uh, as for Romania, I considered Blah 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 by Aladeda, but not much else. Uh, Belgium, I considered The Starlings and Sherine, but none of them made the cut. 
but a song from Estonia did. Eesti Lau, which is one of the national finals I look forward to every year. I considered You Need to Move On by Ined and Freddy. Fabulous. That very nearly made the cut. Bedwetters, Carlos Ukureda, Janek, Neon Letters and Maiko, and Sissy were all considered. But the song I've gone with, I love this. What a great, slightly mysterious slinky sort of tune this is. It is So Good at What You Do by Mel's. Music and lyrics by last year's Estonian representative Stefan, Andreas Poom, who was involved himself in Eesti Lau, Hugo Martin Masikas, Gavin Niklas, and Stig Rasta. Hello. So this song, great performer in a red outfit. The live performance was a bit disappointing. The camera just sort of panning around her, not much happening on the backdrop. She kicks over the microphone stand at one point. But really, it's a very simplistic looking performance. But this is great. It's so relaxing to listen to. And it feels very, like I said, mysterious. Almost sensual in a way. Very calming to listen to. It's got this sort of plinky plonky melody. That's a great description, ladies and gentlemen, that I've just gone with there. You can see why I'm not a music journalist, but it's got that sort of thing going on in the background. Maybe I'll try and find the lyrics here. The chorus. Oh, yeah, catchy stuff. I'm trying to find the lyrics here, but it's taking an absolute age, ladies and gentlemen for me to find them, so I might have to give it a miss. Music videos fabulous as well. Oh, here we go. I've been on the road for way too long. I've been singing every single song, overplayed on the radio everywhere I go, skipping to the chorus. I don't miss you. I don't want to be with you. Don't you know that you're so good at what you do? I've been hurting, got me breathless, such a burden, left me restless. I don't miss you. That's the last thing I would do. I think the reason I've put this in is because, again, it feels... Like a really polished, mature sounding track. It feels quite serious and just super chilled out to listen to. And I'm just really into that sort of stuff now. Don't get me wrong, I love a big rock song. I love all of that sort of old school punk rock, all of that good stuff. But I find myself very much drawn to songs like this, which have a story behind them, that feel very engaging that have a very um, intriguing tone to them. Absolutely fabulous, ladies and gentlemen. My God, I am repeating myself a lot. But that is another great national final song of the season. So Good at What You Do by Mel's. We now have something a bit more up-tempo, ladies and gentlemen. We're skipping forwards to Iceland. And Song for Kepnin is another national final that I really enjoy. I considered quite a few songs here. Doomsday Dancing by Celebs. Uh, o Begirth by Kristin Cecilia, which was expected to do very well and then didn't come anywhere near the final. And also Silja Ros and Kjallar. But the song I've gone with, it's a bit of a bop. Throwback high school musical stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It is Dancing Lonely by Siga Usk, another young female performer. I thought this was fabulous. This was presented in a sort of uh, home video sort of way, at least to begin with. We certainly had that effect on screen. Very, I suppose, not 1980s, but that sort of vein. Lyrically, nothing groundbreaking. Uh, but Sigur looking fabulous in this red dress, bopping about the stage. You've got a guy uh, with Sigur's name on his jacket, I believe it is. They're all having a good time. It feels a bit high school-esque. But it was just really, really fun. And the more I listened to this... The more I enjoyed it. I really did. Music and lyrics here by Clara Elias, Alma Goodman, who make up the group Nylon, David Morup, and James Gladius Wong. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. Glema Thierro Danza, the Icelandic title. Just harmless, fun stuff. A nice, good pop bop to listen to. I thought this really stood out from the field as well because we had Braggy in the final and that was a bit of a ballad. Celebs which was a bit of a chaotic uh, colourful slush for want of a better word. 
Then we had Dilyao, who was great, and that's this sort of uh, EDM-type pop number. And then you've got OK, which was Rockabilly. So there was a place, I suppose, for a straight-up, you know, shameless in a way, pop bop, absolutely fantastic, and another person who I hope isn't a one-and-done. So I hope she comes back and tries to represent Iceland again at some point. She just looks, she looked like a Disney princess on stage, having a good time with her crew and performing with a smile on her face. And that energy, that optimism really came through in the performance, in the video that I was watching. And it's two thumbs up from me. A job well done. Uh, so we've got a few more songs to go. Next, we're going to go over to Lithuania. So from Poland, I considered Jan, uh, a couple of other songs as well. From San Marino, I considered quite a few, including the runner-up by Le Deva, which very nearly made the cut. Uh, and then Albania, I considered Elsa Lilla and a few others. But we move on to Lithuania, ladies and gentlemen. And a few songs here I looked at included Alan Chico, Like a Movie by Beatrix, which absolutely is an honourable mention. That was so close to making the cut. Uh, Gabrielius Vagilis, I considered... Gebrasi with Saw Your Ghost, um, Moonbee, Paulina, Ruta Moore, absolutely fantastic, the more I listen to that, and Victoria Faith. But the song I've gone with is a song that, if I'm being completely honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, if this song had won, I'm tempted to say it might have challenged for the win in Liverpool. Absolutely. This is another ballad by a female performer. Unbelievable. It is Love of My Life by Petunia. Seven points from the juries, four points from the public, fourth place overall. This is just another gorgeous, simple ballad. Pretty much all one camera shot, a couple of backing singers off to one side, Petunia sitting there, really feeling every syllable of this track. Goodbye, love of my life, we could have been fine. You know, it's a sort of universal message about heartbreak and that sort of thing. So lyrically, you know, maybe we're not really bowled over by what's going on there. But what a lovely song. Quite emotionally charged. The jurors would have eaten this for breakfast, lunch and dinner. They would have wanted it for dessert as well. An absolutely tremendous track. Maybe pure jury bait. The public, if this had gone to Liverpool... I think this would have qualified from semi-final two, and I think in the final the Jewers would have had this ranked very highly. The public maybe not quite as much, because for a song like this to stand out, it's very, very difficult. And maybe based on the performance at the national final in Lithuania, had they just copied and pasted it onto the Liverpool stage, it might not have made too much of an impression. But there's no doubt that this is a top quality track. Absolutely fantastic. And I did see a few comments from people online in the build-up to the national final saying that if this wins, you know, it's going to be one of Lithuania's best ever songs. It's going to be very well in the final, etc, etc. It's winning material. Uh, I've got so much buzz. I've got so much excitement about this song and so on. And I didn't really think much of it at the time, which is a bit bizarre. I think I was just paying attention to other countries and their national finals. Uh, and then when Monica won, I thought, oh, that's the song they've gone with? Oh, fair enough. Uh, but this, this is just fantastic. Music, music and lyrics by Agne Shaulite, Diana Anisko, Morta Griga Luniaite, and Egidia Machulite. My God, I've butchered those pronunciations. I'm never doing that again. But yes, Petunia, who I think has been involved before in Lithuania's selection a few years ago. Don't quote me on that. So she's not a one and done, I don't think. But this was fabulous. So intimate. Would have worked well on that Liverpool stage, which is a little bit smaller than usual. On that secondary stage, you know, the one that we've got? Yeah, that would have gone down an absolute storm. Very tender. Very precious. Very fragile. Very emotional. And I'm just really into that sort of thing. What a great, great song, ladies and gentlemen. I think Estonia might have missed a trick by not sending that. Anyway, three more to go. Spain next, which means we gloss over... Uh, dear me. We gloss over Germany. I considered Concrete Hearts, Melodies of Hope, but none of them made the cut. Uh, Italy, we will talk about in a moment. Ukraine, I considered Jerry Hale and Krutz. That's a fantastic song. Koliskova. But, Benidorm Fest then, which was an eternity ago. February the 4th was the final. This song was in the final and finished 4th with 106 points. 
It is the most up-tempo song here. Arcadia by Megara, led by a female singer. The performance here was a bit all over the shop. I'm not really sure how to feel about it. She was in this sort of silver outfit. She had female dancers who were looking like something out of Doctor Who, almost like androids. There was a very space-like theme to the performance. We had pyros, purple lighting, lots of interesting imagery on the backdrop. And I like the studio cut. I like the live version. Very energetic, very powerful. I think that she was really feeling it, the lead singer here. I'm really excited to hear more music from them moving forwards. It's got a sort of crunching chorus with the guitars. There's also a slight cheekiness to it as well, sort of in the pre-chorus. You can hear it in her voice, this sort of slightly playful nature. Absolutely fantastic stuff once again, ladies and gentlemen. You just go along for the ride. Visually strong. Uh, very powerful chorus. Quite easy to get swept up in. You know, that Arcadia hook. You can just go along with that. Fantastic. And I was really hoping this was going to push harder for the win because this would have been so different from Chanel last year. And admittedly, Blanca, you know, that song is very different from Slow Mo. But this would have been a real turn of direction, a real change of pace. And a bit of rock from Spain at Eurovision. I hope it happens one day. What a tremendous song that was. Arcadia by Megara. Probably the first national final song of the season that I really, really was into. So that leaves two songs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I am going to have to get up the lyrics for these. And we're going to go with Sweden first. So, let me do this. Da -da. Da -da, da -da, da -da. It's another young female singer. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? So, last year I mentioned Tribe Friday from Sweden. Yes. Do you remember that song? Probably not, but it's a pretty good entry. And this year I thought, well, who am I going to pick from Sweden? I don't have to pick anybody from Sweden. But nine times out of ten, there's a lot of songs that I really enjoy. So I considered Gorgeous by Axel Schulström, Comfortable by Erden, Ragon Gore by Elov and Benny, uh, Where Did You Go by Kiana, fantastic, that very nearly made the cut. Um, One Day by Mariette, For the Show by Melanie Vierba, Slep a la Sorga by Nordman, Royals by Paul Ray, Haunted by Ray Han, Idleweiss by Sini and Hjordis, Six Feet Under by Smash Into Pieces, very nearly made the cut, Now I Know by Tennessee Tears, Merav Day by Teots, Gritan by Uje Brandelius, very nearly made the cut. My God, I think that's a bit of an underrated gem. What a performance that was. And also, All My Life, Where Have You Been, by the legend herself, Victoria. But the song I've gone with, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody whose mother once presented Melfest. Little fun fact for you. This is Lord Hillestan Sepor, Let the Whole Town Watch, by Ida Luva, 18-year-old Ida Luva from Stockholm. Her debut single, it seems to be here, although I think she's released an EP, which I need to check out. This song was so good, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a great example of a track that at the time I thought, eh, it's alright, it won't qualify. Skip forwards a couple of months, ladies and gentlemen, and I think this is the bee's knees. Absolutely wonderful, and so many other people seem to like this as well. Oh, maybe it deserved a bit better, ladies and gentlemen, but you know Sweden, if it's in their own language, they're not going to give it the time of day. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, Ida Lorva Saga Lind was born in August 2004. My God. I was a month away from starting secondary school. Ooh, hear me. Um... The song was written by herself and Andreas Lindberg and the dream team of Joy and Linnea Deb. She is the daughter of Christine Meltzer, who is a hostess, actress and comedian who did co-host the 2010 Melfest. I think she was the one that announced Anna Bergendahl had won. Now, I don't have the English translation of the lyrics here in front of me, but I love the lyrics of this track. So let's talk about the performance first before I look at these Swedish lyrics. She's sitting on the steps of the Melfest stage. There's this long, sort of, was it a pink curtain coming across the stage? I can't quite remember. And she's dressed very casually. She gets up and moves front and centre as the song progresses. There's sort of warm lighting as well. Oh yeah, it's very, very simple. What a great voice for somebody so young. What a great voice, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a look at the lyrics then, because I'm all over the place here. Um, really, this song is about um, sort of just enjoying your teenage days, I guess. Yeah. Hela Star and Lisa 
för vår skull. Vi skriker allt vi kan, nu räddar vi varann. Och vi ska dansa sönder all vår ångest, gör det vi kan bäst, vi lever så vi dör, låt hela stansa på. Så so pretty much, um, we'll scream as loud as we can, something like that. Now we find ourselves, and we'll dance away our anxiety, blah blah blah, let the whole town watch. I en jungle av beton, etc, etc. Yeah, I just love this. I know I'm repeating myself so many times in this video, but I love this. My god, I wish Sweden had probably sent a song like this again, to be honest with you. Just lovely. Just lovely. Very intimate. Very low-key. Builds up, but again isn't overpowering at the end. Great vocals. And really nicely done. Really nicely done. Uh, where did she actually finish in her heat? She was in the third heat in lead chirping and she finished in fourth place just missing out on the second chance round where she probably wouldn't have made the cut but there we are what a wonderful song ladies and gentlemen just wonderful and i think it's the sort of track that i'm going to like more and more as time progresses wonderful wish i could look at the lyrics in a bit more depth but this video is already long enough so that leaves one track ladies and gentlemen ah oh, now, we are talking about a very good piece of music here, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very cool, sophisticated slice of music. Ah, oh, fantastic. Do we have the English translation? I think that would be a good idea. This is good. The music video does have English language subtitles, which is wonderful. This is from San Remo, from Italy, which I know, strictly speaking, is not a national final, but let's roll with it anyway. I considered quite a few songs from San Remo. Uh, Ariete with Mare di Guai, Splash, that's a great song by Cola Pesci Di Martino, Non Mi Va by Colazio, Ladio by Comacos, Due by Elodie, Mostro by Gian Maria, uh, Cenere by Lazza, uh, Terzo Cuore, that's a good song by Leo Gassman, um, Due Mille Minuti by Marra Satei, La Sciami by Moda, Super Eroi by Mr. Rain, who had the kids on stage with him, Polvere by Oli, uh, Tango by Tananai and Stupido by Will but the song I've gone with is a song by somebody and I'm calling it now I think this person can win Eurovision for Italy I, I think they've got star quality there's a touch of the Lorien about them I don't really know why I think that but I do they're 21 years of age from Vicenza they've had two number one albums but they've yet to have a number one single their music is rap, trap and Urban, from Vicenza, like I just said, born in January 2002, it's Madame, and this song is Il Bene, Nel Male, oh god, it's catchy stuff, this is good, good music, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the lyrics, this is the rough English translation, I saw you again after a long, long, long time, and as expected, you were as much, 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 much more beautiful as you used to be. You started talking, I was expecting, and I missed you. Instead, you talked so, so, so much. Much love what I gave you. If my memory serves me right, how entangled you are in thinking that I wanted your bad. And in your ideas, you at the end blurted out, you said, look, so, so, so much. Love, you are the worst mistake I've ever made in my life. This seems to be about a toxic relationship. And the music video, I was getting that vibe. And if you are Italian... Maybe you know where this music video was filmed, because it's an interesting looking house, and it's a great music video in general. For better or for worse, you are good and you are bad. Baby, for better or for worse, you do right and you do wrong. How much good and bad, for better or for worse, I'm left with the good, you're left with the bad. Not bad, I think. I'm not even a sweet memory, I'm left with the regret. You only have remorse left, and I'm afraid of you. That's that big note in the second verse that she sings. I'm afraid of you. Oh yeah, it's so catchy, and so professionally done, and it was, you know, she just looked so at ease on that San Remo stage, sort of moving about, you know, almost sort of staggering at one point, because she's really feeling the song that she's singing, quite emotional, very powerful, and yes, maybe a little bit on the repetitive side as well, but super catchy, and this is what I was saying about Cha 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 recently, that phrase, it's sort of universal. It's the same in every language. So if you don't speak Finnish, 
you can just sing along with the main hook of the track and it sticks in your head. And in this song, if you don't know Italian, il bene, nel male, etc, 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 you're just along for the ride and you can sing along with that bit and before you know it, it's lodged in your head. And that's exactly what happened with me with this one. I think Madame is fabulous. I need to listen to more of her music. I like her look. I like her voice. And I don't really listen to rap or trap or urban music, but I might have to give it a bit of a listen because I think she has star quality and I think she could win Eurovision at some point in the future. Where did this song finish? It didn't even make the top five, did it? No. Seventh place. Dear, dear me. I think this should have finished a bit higher. What's it say here? Ah, the music video was filmed in a villa in Brianza, Lombardy. And the other woman in the video is Giorgia Ferrero. So there you go. She wrote this song, along with a couple of other people. And it charted at number four in Italy. Fantastic. It's on her most recent album. Lovely. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't have much more to say about that particular track. Or indeed any of the songs I've just mentioned. They're all good. I all love them. And they all deserve their moment to shine once again. I'll certainly be listening to them again in the future, maybe for many, many more years to come. Now, that other point that I mentioned about 35 minutes ago now, um, I was watching a video very recently, and it was National Final Runners Up from years ago, and it reminded me of a song called Sleepless by Anne Noah, which I strongly recommend. That song, ladies and gentlemen, I might have mentioned it before on my channel at some point, but that is probably the first National Final song that I really loved. This was back in 2011, DMGP. It was the runner-up behind a friend in London. Another song that I really love. And this was around the time when I started actually realising there were National Finals, to be honest with you, and songs galore from loads of different countries. And although I wasn't really invested in National Finals at that point, I came across sleepless loved it and then years later i sort of rediscovered it and it is without question one of my favorite national final songs ever and it has a very special place in my heart because it's sort of the first national final song from any country that i really loved and unfortunately Anne noah who performed it was a one and done she never tried again for denmark and i believe she's a music teacher now so there we are. Thought I'd mention that because it's an interesting point about national final songs in general. But there you go. Just to recap. Not Meant to Be by Aline Thorpe from Norway. Fim do Mundo by Inez Apenas for Portugal. Midnight Summer Night by Connolly for Ireland. Lord Hjellestan Sapor by Ida Lulva for Sweden. Something to Lose by Alexandra for Finland. So Good at What You Do by Mels for Estonia. Dancing Lonely by Sigur Usk for Iceland. Love of My Life by Petunia for Lithuania. Arcadia by Megara for Spain, and Il Bene, Nel Male, di, 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 di. oh god, by Madame for Italy. Ten great national final songs of the season. Let me know your ten great national final songs of the season. Not necessarily your absolute favourites from any particular country, but ten songs you really loved, maybe they didn't do well in the results or whatever, but you think they deserve a bit more love now that the national final season has definitely uh, passed us by and within a few days rehearsals will begin and I'll no doubt be talking about what I see on my YouTube channel moving forwards. What a ramble for the ages. My god I apologize once again for the messiness but until next time thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Eurovision 2023 is nearly upon us and I'll be in Liverpool for the final. Until then, well before then, take care of yourselves. Stay safe and bye for now.